Pat Martino is a real OG. He changed the world of jazz guitar improvisation forever. Pat Martino's way of looking at improvisation is not really the traditional way of looking at it. Usually when we hear jazz and improvisation, we often think about, shit, we have to know like 500 scales and like, there is so much to learn. There are like 5,000 scales, 5,000 chords, and you have to learn them because otherwise you suck. No, in Pat Martino's book, Linear Expressions, he talks about the concept of thinking in a few minor scales and in a few minor formations or phrases as you would call them. The scales he talks about are the Dorian minor scale and the melodic minor scale. He then thinks about these scales in formations and phrases. He never thinks about the scales running up and down. So he basically has phrases and licks that he plays from each inversion of the chord. So if you have a G minor chord, you go up a third, you have like a B flat major seven, which is also a G minor six. So he has one phrase from that chord, one phrase there, and then he goes up to the fifth and to the seventh, and he has phrases there. So he basically takes licks and puts them in those boxes, and then he just moves them around the neck, and there you have it. The only thing you have to do now is basically use this information applied to other chords and other chord qualities and you can basically improvise over most of the standards out there. So if you have a C7 for example, now how would you improvise? How would you think about it? Maybe you would say Mixolydian, Blue Scale. Those are not wrong. They're right and actually I really like using those. But have you ever tried thinking G minor Dorian over a C7? Why this works so well is because you get all the notes from the Mixolydian scale, but in a weird way, your perception changes to having G as your home base, G as the root, instead of having the C as the root. This means you have the fifth in C as your root. So you're thinking G, and that automatically makes you think about the fifth of C more which is a very good chord quality to land on. So in a weird way, you're, you get all the tensions you want and you're doing it in a melodic way. As opposed to if you would play C7 Mixolydian, you would always think about C as being home. You're switching that thing up. Now try this lick over C7. Okay, let's take a major 7 this time. The major 7 chord has a lot of possibilities. If we have a C major 7 chord, you can play E minor 7 formations, and you can also play A minor 7 formations. So you can basically play an E minor Dorian scale and an A minor Dorian scale. So playing an E minor Dorian scale over a C major 7 sounds like this. Playing A Dorian scale over C major 7 sounds like this. Okay, now we're gonna talk about a minor 2 5 1 in C. In a minor 2 5 1, Pat Martino thinks a minor 3rd up from the 2 chord. So in this case you have a D minor 7 flat 5. If you think a minor 3rd up, you have an F minor chord. So in this case the F minor Dorian works very well over the G7 flat 9 also. That means in an improvisational situation, over the D minor 7 flat 5 you can think F minor Dorian and over the 5 chord, the G7, you can think F minor Dorian also. Since the F minor is tied to both the D minor 7 flat 5 and the G7, you can literally think of only F minor that goes into C minor. So that sounds like this. The reason why this is a better way of thinking of improvising in jazz is because you automatically you're thinking in a more melodic way. You're not thinking root. Usually jazz we're thinking about other chord qualities and that's what happens when you're like switching it up like this. 
Because let's face it, you don't want it to sound like you're playing a scale up and down. You want to be melodic, and that's what this concept teaches you. To summarize, over C7 we can use a G minor Dorian, over C major 7 we can think A minor Dorian or E minor Dorian. Minor 2, 5, 1 is C, we think F minor Dorian over the 2 chord, F minor Dorian over the 5 chord, and then you go to the 1 chord where you play Dorian, so C minor Dorian. What you'll realize after playing around with these concepts are that a lot of chords share the same qualities with each other. This makes it much easier to improvise. For example, if you have an F minor 7, you can play an A flat major 7 arpeggio up and down. And sound melodic as fuck. And why is that? They derive from the same family. I really hope this lesson helped you. If you'd like a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me, you can hit the Fiverr link in the bio, book a lesson with me, and we'll talk about music and how you can improve as a musician. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.